Hi everybody, it's Becky, um, and I have the second part of my Dollar Tree stuff, plus I have some neat stuff I got at Walmart, so I'm going to try to hurry and get through all of it, so I better talk fast. Um, I found, and these are really random, but anyway, at Walmart, I found pumpkin spice and apple spice sunbelt, um, uh, granola bars. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. I usually just buy the um, chocolate chip ones and I just happened to see these. And I think I had 25 cent off coupons from the uh, paper and every once in a while Ibotta will have a rebate for those too. Uh, but I think I just had like 25 cent off coupons which is practically nothing. But anyway, those looked really good for fall and I'd never seen those before. So I guess they're new. They're probably just for fall. Then I picked up at Walmart. I got um, these two necklaces. They were five dollars each, and I think they're really pretty. So I'm definitely going to wear those. I really like this one. This one's real. Well, I really like both of them. They're just both really neat. So I'm glad I found those. Um, let's see. I have I have this container of stuff. So I got two of these. You know, I love fake floral. Um, these were 97 cents each. And they seemed pretty colorful. So, anyway, that's two bunches of them. And then I found these, um, little berries. And they're all separate. They're not, you know, it's not just one bush. They're little separate picks. There are three picks in each one. And they're 90, they were, uh, 98 cents each. And I found those in, um, like, a little bin. And in those bins also, for 98 cents, I found these grapevine balls. That seems like a good deal to me for 98 cents. Um, and I got... This was in the same um, little bin for 98 cents. And it's a sequined dark red pumpkin. Looks really pretty. And then, let's see, I guess we'll get into my candles. So, um, the first ones I bought... I had, okay, I got some Glade ones, and I usually don't get these, but I had uh, coupons from, probably from coupons.com. They might have been from the paper, but I think it was coupons.com, plus Ibotta had a rebate. So, um, if I can figure out how, I'm going to, for anybody who doesn't have Ibotta yet, who hasn't signed up, I'll leave a link in the description box. And if you use my code, I get five dollars, which is great. But the first time you do, uh, you um, you know, do you like a re your first rebate on it? You get a ten dollar bonus, and that's how I signed up for it. So I didn't even know the person, um, but I just like read something on a blog, I think, and signed up under somebody else, and she got the ten bucks for me. And I've been using it ever since, and. I think last winter, oh, I didn't, I didn't talk about this one. I think last Christmas, before Christmas, I, um, cashed in my Walmart savings catcher and my Ibotta and I don't know what else. And, um, you know, I think it was just Ibotta and my Walmart savings catcher right before Christmas and I got $150 out of that. So, that was a great deal. Um, okay, so I got this. It's Sweet Pea. And it smells really good. And um, it feels pretty heavy. It's uh, 4.2 ounces. And I love sweet pea stuff. And then the others I got, and I can smell these. They smell so good. They're um, the Glade Tree Lighting Wonder Fir Needle Spruce and Eucalyptus. And I love the, the piney... Um, Christmas tree scents, and this smells so good. Anyway, I got three of these, and it was the same deal with those. I had coupons, and then I had the Ibotta rebate, and this, I never would have bought this without the coupons and the Ibotta rebate, but this is a car plug-in, and it's Hawaiian Breeze, which I don't know how much I'll like that, but anyway, so it's the starter thing that you plug it in with. It plugs into... You know, like your cigarette lighter thing, or I don't know what, but you know, you know what I mean. Anyway, you plug it in, and then it makes your car smell good. And I need that, because my car's been smelling funky for some reason. I don't know why. And then I got a bunch of wax melts. I got apple pumpkin, 
And this is a small one. This is one of the, like, dollar ones or something. And then the rest of them are the full-size ones. I got um, two Evergreen Walk. So those are good for winter and Christmas time. Cinnamon Stick. And this is the Better Homes and Gardens. Um, and I love their Cinnamon Stick. And Rustic Country Home. I've never had that one before. And... Okay, these two are sensational. This is Red Hot Cinnamon and Cinnamon Apples. And then the thing that I, I had to sit in, in, I bought this, I don't know how much it was, oh, $5.98. And so it's like a metal um, tin. And last year, maybe two years ago at Michael's, I got a bunch of really glittery, sequiny, um, uh, like fall, uh, I don't even know how to describe them. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a little arrangement. I'm gonna you know put the foam in and then some of my um, Dollar Tree leaves. And then I'm gonna put the sequiny um, things in. So anyway, and set it somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, then I got a bunch of the the bigger candles. I only got one of these cranberry mandarin. I've had that before. It smells really good. And, okay, now here's one I never would have thought I would have liked. It's warm tobacco leaf. And even whenever I looked at it, I thought, what's it smell like? An old ashtray? This smells surprisingly good. And it's kind of out of the ordinary for what I would choose, but it's going to be a nice change. And then I got, this is Better Homes and Gardens Crisp Fall Leaves. And it's a pretty color, too. And I got two of these because this is my favorite. Fresh Apple Orchard. And, in fact, I have one burning right now. And I got Rainy Spring Day. I've looked at this one a bunch of times and never gotten it. So I ended up getting it. And the last one is Better Homes and Gardens Spicy Cinnamon Stick. And I like to have candles burning. I don't know. I feel like... I don't know, the house smells funky or something. So, anyway, I like to burn candles. Okay, so now to get into the Dollar Tree stuff. This, oh, and I hope that doesn't blind you. It's a mirror. Anyway, um, this is plastic, but it looks really good for a dollar. And I don't know where I'm going to hang it, but it looks really good. Um, oh, here's something totally random. They had these... Um, these are the reflector things that you put at the end of your driveway if you have trouble finding your driveway in the dark. So, anyway, I got this. I kind of think they might... I don't know if I need them to find the driveway. But anyway, I kind of thought... Oh, we're always looking for something to stake the tomato plants with. And I kind of thought we might end up staking the tomato plants with those. I don't know. That would be kind of interesting. Glow-in-the-dark tomato steaks. Um... Or I guess reflective, not slow in the dark. But anyway, I've got, I found some more of these um, candle holders. These look really, really good for a dollar. So I'd already gotten two of those before. So I got a third one. And then I got a couple different ones. Here's the polka dot. I just think these look really, really good for a dollar. And then I think I got two of the polka dots. Let's see. Yeah, I got two of the polka dots, and then I got one of these striped ones. These things are just awesome for a dollar. And the other one is a polka dot one again, so you've already seen that one. So, let's move on to the food. I got these gumballs for, um, I don't know if you can see them. There are 70 in here. got these for Halloween. I found Richie's favorite popcorn, Pop Weaver Extra Butter, and it's eight bags for a dollar. So that's a great deal. Usually we get the one at Walmart that's like, I think 20 bags or 25 bags. I want to say it's like five bucks or something. Um, I got some Coastal Bay Hard Candy Cinnamon Hard Candy. I haven't had this kind before, but the Coastal Bay brand is pretty good. Oh, I got, uh, oops, and I, and I broke it in the sack. I got a salted nut roll. Um, I got, is that the name of the food? Maybe so. Maybe that's all I have left. Anyway, 
I found these. Okay, the cats love the Sheba cat food. And so these were 50 cents each, two for a dollar. And the reason they have them is they're doing away with the cans. Now they come in a little plastic container. Um, you have to like peel the top off. And it's quite a bit less than this. And it's they're 70 cents a pack. And so I got these for 50 cents and there's more in each one. So I got a bunch of these because the cats love them. Um, got some more of the Curad bandages. These are the big ones. Um, there are 10 in this pack. These are the really big band-aids. Um, truly Ouchless. Okay, this is Curad. Truly Ouchless Flexible Fabric Bandage. 20 in here. And it seems to me like the the um, the fabric ones usually stick better. And then I got, this is the Assured brand. So this is um, the Dollar Tree brand. And there are 20 in here. And they're knuckle and fingertip bandages. And those are good also, I don't know, sometimes like if you have a cut on your toe or something. And of course we were looking for some of those because we needed them a while back and I couldn't find any. I got some more of the Assured um, Sleep Aid, and I think it says on here, compared to the active ingredient in Simply Sleep. And I think they work just fine. So for a dollar, that's a great deal. Oh, I did, here's some gum. And it's the extra, what is it, it's four, four or five stick packages. So I'll just throw those in my purse. And then I needed these, and I've actually already opened it and taken one or two out. These are those little plastic things that you put under um, a plant to keep it from leaking water all over your table. And this was a six pack, and I guess I've already taken two out. Oh, I found these, um, let's see, what does it say? Retinol Spa, spa Treatment Mask. And, and this one is collagen, and this one is retinol. And the brand is Global Beauty Care. So I'm not familiar with that, but I'm pretty sure on these videos that other people have done. I've seen them haul these. So, um, and it's, you know, it's just like the whole mask that you stick on. It's not, you know, like a bunch of stuff that you rub on. Anyway, I'm going to try those. That looks neat. Oh, I got this 5-Minute Natural Rock. Natural white, oh my goodness, I can't talk. Whitening, tooth whitening system. And I have the, um, actually, let's open this up and look at it. I have the white strips that cost like a million dollars, ones that are supposed to stick really good. And they don't stick very good, in my opinion. So I was thinking I was going to try these. I don't know. I've also bought at Dollar Tree, it's like this little pin that you can, um, uh, just like brush the stuff on and so I watching another video I saw a gal who bought that pen but you know I think it said on the the directions on the other pen that you need to put um, Vaseline on like on your you know the underside of your lips to keep it from going on there so anyway this other gal that I was watching bought that pen and then she bought this thing and she was using this whenever she used the pen, so she was keeping, you know, the stuff from the pen from touching um, the inside of her mouth. I don't, I don't know if that even just makes sense, but that's what I was going to do anyway. That may not have made any sense to anyone, but that's what I was going to try. Um, oh, I got a three-pack of Colgate toothbrushes for a dollar. That's a great deal. I've seen other people haul these, so I thought we'd try them. They are the the pore strips that you put on your nose, and they're black for some. They're charcoal, so I don't know. But anyway, it's uh, so it's Global Beauty Care, and I guess we'll try them out. I saw um, I've seen a couple of videos where people had used them. One gal said it didn't do anything. Another one said that it worked. So I don't know. Here's a really good deal for a dollar, a digital thermometer. It's the Assured brand, so it's, um, you know, it's the Dollar Tree brand. And we have the kind that goes in your ear. I can never figure out how to use it. After all these years of having it, I can still never figure out how to use it. Oh, I don't want to forget these. My two witch hats. Oh, I get, okay, I guess I, 
well anyway it's folded over but um, one of them is polka dots usually the night that the trick-or-treaters come I wear a witch hat and then the other one has the spider webs so I'll probably wear one of those the night the trick-or-treaters come and then I guess I'll move on to some household products I got just a pack of six sponges. They have the scrubby stuff on one side. Um, oh, I'm going to try these out. These are 18 garbage sacks. Um, they have the built-in handles. And how big are they? Well, I don't know. Basically, I think they're the big ones anyway. It has 49 liters. That doesn't tell me anything. But anyway, 18 trash bags for a dollar. Hopefully, they don't tear. Oh, I got one of these um, fluffy dusters, and I've heard, I've seen other people who've gotten them and said they worked really good. I was going to open it up so we could look at it, but anyway, I've heard other people say that they work the same as the name brand. So you get a handle, and you get two of the dusters. I cannot open this. Well, anyway, so you get the handle, which that looks just like the the higher press handle to me and two of the dusters so hopefully they'll work out I got I saw somebody else who hauled these they're the Brillo Basics reusable wipes and basically they're just like a throwaway wash uh, dishcloth and so I think I could definitely use those got a big scrubby sponge for doing dishes and wiping off the counter um, here's something totally random that they had there. It's a tarp. And it's not a very big one. It's four by six. And we have tarps, but we can never find when we need one, of course. So let's get this out and see how it is. It's kind of thin. I mean, it's not something you would use long term. but And it's got the little grommets in the corners like tarps usually have. Yeah, it's not real thick, but I can see where in a pinch this would work to cover something up. So, that's pretty neat for a dollar. And you never know what you'll find at Dollar Tree. They have like totally random stuff. They have a couple gift bags. So this is a Christmas gift bag. It's got some glitter on it on the side, but it has a lot. They're decorated on the side. That's a really neat one. That's a good sack for a guy. And then I got just a couple birthday sacks. I probably need to hurry up. We're going to have another birthday coming up in our uh, family. So I don't know if you can see this over on the side. But that's what this is. It's just like a thing you would hang up from I don't know, on the wall or from a light fixture or something. And then this is three of these balloons with um, little curly things that hang off. Those will be neat. I try to decorate when we have birthdays. And then I got these picture frames. And I've gotten picture frames over the years from Dollar Tree. And I think they've worked out okay. I was going to open this if I could. Um, you know, they're not really heavy. Let's see. Let's see what I think of this one. They're not really heavy, but a dollar is a great deal. So... I mean, it seems fine. It's got the little thing on the back. And also, you can hang it up two different ways, that way or that way. I think that looks really good for a buck. And so, I got that. I got a small gold one. And it has, it just has the, oh, it can be hung or it can sit on a table. And I got this one. And this one. Those look great for a dollar, I think picture frames are too expensive. Okay, and now I'm on my last container. Okay, um, this is an LED window candle, and it has a suction cup. So you can suction cup it on a window if you don't have, like, a window sill to sit the candle in. That's awesome. Oh, here's an As Seen on TV find. Um, three Second Rapid Repair Laser Bond. And so it says, just a apply liquid bond, seal with light, and like new again. So it makes a strong lasting bond, fixes, fills, fastens, and seals, pliable, paintable, remarkable. So anyway, as seen on TV, and you know that stuff is always great. So the next time something breaks, we are going to laser bond it. 
um, just get some suction cups with little hooks to hang Christmas stuff up. Also, I got um, another over-the-door wreath holder. I buy these all the time and can never find them when I need them. Um, oh, here's something else that's really neat. These are over-the-door hooks. So they hook over a door, and then you can hang, you know, your bath towel or your clothes on them. So, that, and I got, there are three different ones, or I saw three different ones there anyway. And then there's this one, so it sticks out further. I guess you can hang more stuff on, like you could hang um, hangers on it, I guess. So that's neat. Um, got some books. I got a Bible Word Search Puzzle Book. And I got another one of these adult coloring books. And this seemed like it had some neat pictures in it. I hope the camera hasn't gone off again or I'll have to film this whole thing again. So it has some neat pictures in it. And then I got these. There are a couple kids books, but they seem like really good. Questions and Answers Planet Earth and Questions and Answers Science. And it says Explore Our World. And they had, it seemed like they had really good information in them. Um, about, this is about oceans, volcanoes, earthquakes and tsunamis. That's the Planet Earth one. And then the science one says questions and answers. And there's, let's see, that's water transport, air transport. What else do they have? Let's go back to the beginning. Let's see what was in the beginning. Oh, matter, origin of life, matter, light. So anyway, they seem neat. Um, oh, these are really neat. So these, um, these have the, the little thing to sit on a table, sit up on a table. And so they have these little, oops, they have these little nails with the, um, the thread or the cord hooked around the little nails. And it says, home is where our story begins. And this one says, you and me are meant to be. And they feel pretty heavy. So for a dollar, that's really good. I know I say that constantly. For a dollar, that's great. Oh, here's another Halloween thing. Twelve eyeballs. I mean, who doesn't need eyeballs? So. Oh, here's something I found for the first time. Multi-purpose adhesive spray. So you know how everything that's glittery, you know, the glitter comes off of it? And I've been spray painting clear coat on them. Well, I think I'm going to try this adhesive spray to keep glitter on stuff. And that's great for a dollar. Um, a Mod Podge. And, oh, three candles. And these look really good. Look, they come with um, the little rope and um, this has a little metal leaf. Let's see, do they all have the little metal leaf? Yeah, they all have the little metal leaf. So there was the green one, this burgundy, and this orange. And when I'm down to my very last thing, Baker's Twine. Um, but this was in with the craft stuff. And so, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it seemed like something, obviously, I needed. So, anyway, that is the last of my great stuff I had to show you. So, thanks for watching. Um, oh, we're going to have some new videos coming up, some different videos. Um, we're going to be taking a trip. We're going to do some video on that. And I have ordered some dousing rods. So whenever they get here, I'm going to practice using them and we're going to videotape it. So anyway, um, lots of neat stuff coming up. So thanks for watching. Um, please share this on Facebook and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.